morning everybody so in this video we will discuss one more question that they have asked on structure uh, from university question paper it is from december 2018 paper so let us read the question carefully question is define structure consisting of following elements first one is student role then student name and finally student percentage and we have to write a program to read records of five students and display same remember here parameters that we have to consider are roll number name and percentage let us begin with program So here first of all we will define a structure with the name student struct student you can give any name for your structure then within this structure we have to define three parameters first one is a role then name for storing name we have to uh, declare a character array so suppose s name and then we have to define one more parameter that is percentage marks suppose pm and then close this structure so we have to store marks uh, name and roll number of five student that's why here create array of structure with size 5 now in this empty structure we have to store data so for that we have to use for loop so in for loop we will require one variable r then we have to mention clear screen it will just clear previous output screen and now we have to write for how many times we have to iterate for we have to iterate for few times because we have to store records of five students how to write for begin with zero i less than five i plus plus now first of all we have to take a role of first student then name of first student then percentage marks of first student similarly uh, at second iteration we have to take role name and percentage marks of next student so likewise we have to store role name and marks of five students so initially let us display message for user printf we have to take a role number from user so enter role of percent student and while display value of percent d will take from i plus one variable because initially value of i is one i is zero so while display this message at first iteration it will just display statement like enter role of one first student after getting this message user will enter role we have to store that in our variable so for that we have to use scanf function so we have to store role and role is of type integer that's why format specifier is percent d and then we have to mention ampersand and the name of the location where the role of student is stored so here name is s of this s this is the array that we have defined so s of here we have to write i dot r this is about taking roll number here you can mention slash n so that it will just display details in proper format now we have to write printf for taking name so here again display message enter name of percent d student here again you can give slash n and percent d value will take from i plus one variable so after getting this message user will enter name name is of type string that's why 
format specifier that we have to use in scanf is percent s and the name of the location where the name is stored is s of i dot this snm array so s n m semicolon so in the same way take down percentage marks as well print f enter percentage marks of percent d student so again give slash n and value of percent d again will take it from i plus one variable and after getting this message user will enter percentage marks so type of percentage marks we mention it as integer that's why format specifier is percent d and the name of the location where marks will get stored is s of i dot pm semicolon so close this for so what is the purpose of this for loop is this for loop is used to store details of student in structure so at first iteration what will happen here i is 0 0 less than 5 true from inside so at first iteration value of i is 0 so how we display statement enter role of percent d so this percent d will take from i plus 1 initially i is 0 so 0 plus 1 1 so instead of percent d here it will display message like enter role of one student that is first student and then user will enter some role number so that value of role number will get stored at i is 0 so value of that role number will get stored at s of 0 dot r location similarly name will get stored at s of 0 dot snm location and percentage marks will get stored at s of 0 dot pm location so after storing all the details now we have to display all the details to the user so how to display for that here just write simple printf you can display normal message details of all students are here you can give slash n now whatever detail that we have stored using this for loop now we have to display all those details so if you want to display then once again we have to use for loop so once again this for loop we have to iterate five times because we we are storing here details of five student so this is how we have to write for now purpose of this second for is to display details of all student so to display here we have to use printf printf second form printf initially we have to display role of first student so see how to write now this printf role of percent d student is percent d where first percent d will take from i plus one variable and second is actually the roll number so roll number is stored at this location s of i dot r so here we have to write s of i dot r here you can use slash n if you want and then close this now see here we display roll that one we have to display name so in the same way we have to write uh, pre another printf that is this time we have to display name so name of percent d student is now actually name we have to display so type of the name is string so here this time percent s then slash n now this first first percent d 
just like previous program we will take it from i plus one and second percent s means it is a name of a location where name of the student is stored so name of that location is s of i dot snm so here write s of i dot snm semicolon and now finally we have to display percentage mark enter so percentage marks of percentage student is percentage where first percentage will take from i plus well and second it is actually the name of location where percentage marks are stored and it is s of i dot pm and then rounded bracket complete then close this for now here we have to write get ch let us review this program once again initially we define a structure with name student i have given name to this structure as std having three parameters uh, role name and percentage marks so here i have created array of structure with size 5 because we have to store records of 5 student then using this for loop we are taking role name and percentage marks of all 5 student because this for loop will iterate 5 times and using second for here using second for we just display all the details that we store using previous for loop now let us compile this program zero error one more thing is let us verify yes clr scr is mentioned so now execute so it is asking for a role of first student so this one we are getting from i plus one variable okay so role of first two student is suppose 101 name of first student suppose i mean percentage marks suppose 70 role of second student 102 suppose name is amol percentage mark suppose 60 role of third student it is 103 then name manoj percentage marks 65 role of fourth student assume that role is 104 then name manali then percentage marks so it is asking for details of fifth student as well because we iterate for five times so we have to provide role of fifth student that is i suppose 105 then it is asking for the name of the fifth student so say suppose man c and then percentage marks say suppose 79 so we have given details of all uh, five students now if i press enter it has to display all the details here details of all student are real role of first student is 101 name of first student is amit percentage marks of first student is 70 so role of second student is 102 and so on here second student and uh, first student role uh, number we are getting on same line so here uh, we forgot to give slash n after display of percentage marks so you can give slash n once again you can compile you can execute this program so 101 meet 77 102 amol 65 103 manoj so suppose 61 104 Manali suppose 72 and last one is say suppose 105 name say suppose a minus e and percentage mass say suppose 81 see here now properly it is displaying all the details every line on every statement on new line so this is all about this program thank you Thank you for watching my tutorial.